So what are we looking at here then? So old viewers to the channel will know that I've been using this. This is a flower pot B0 with a heating coil around a hollow tube which has a gauze in one end and a gauze up its other end there look and just in there you can see shining in the light it's full of lab grown rubies heated via the heating coil. Yeah. So you're only pulling air through that's the only little bit of metal you get in around the top and that that bit of metal in here. So it's only metal in the air path. The rest of it's but heated rubies that heat the air. And that is connected to a controller. So there's a big wire on it. And one of the things I'm very good at is having that in there and then hitting the wire and setting the whole thing up flying. What have we got now though? We've got a nice little station for everything. It's just beautiful. Got the heated coil here. Instead of it being mobile, the heated coil is built into the device, built into the base. And then you set the temperature here. This is a similar kind of head. All out tube it's just got filled with rubies and that just sits in there going to the temperature you've set it at but it means that you can also just sit a banger in there if you want to do a dab and the quartz banger that comes with it got little air holes in the side of it so when you carb cap it you don't need to spin the carb cap um, and the rubies that are in there spinning freely and this is the carb cap that they give you it's just a nice big nice big bowl the video you've just watched I guess is taking some cosmic cream doing a dab test so basically after I've made this video this is all gonna go back to there oh, that's all gonna be nicely out of the way with you know when I'm stretching over there's nothing it's fucking first world problem the epitome but I'm just taking that bringing that over here instead of bringing any cabling none of this and then that goes to the controller box down here that's velcroed to the side of the computer none of that it's just nice and clean and away what an amazing device what a beautiful thing and it's got this on the front of it as well look ow i just touched the coil and although you're not going to pick it up normally like that and like i did i just touched the coil the coil in there with my thumb but yeah there's much less chance the amount of times i have actually just burnt myself with this one pulling it off the desk and grabbing this when it was on at some point as well by accident just trying not to let the glass smash on the floor i had a huge burn on my hand but yeah look at that on the front tell you cannabis hardware artists artists in metal and vaporizers man i've wanted a, a vape station for years i've never actually had one never found ow i've just done it again I've just done it again look nicely out of the way and just looks lovely sitting there that's a staggeringly impressive bit of kit so what was i talking about the, the bowl the matrix bowl so years ago i was helping out cannabis hardware and then when they were known as when they were, when when they were known as we know rider years ago i was helping out cannabis hardware when they were known as don't do it again when they were known as New Vape and I was beta testing a whole bunch of stuff that they made uh, the original god what was it called the, the other one of the original the original flower pot I think flower pot maybe one point something I can't remember um, and then there was the shower head as well which is which was a real evolution there was a carb cap that I asked them to make with a bunch of holes in it that made a massive difference and then we went through all the iterations of the D cup which was the dab e-nail thing that they made made um, with a that had dishes in it that was a precursor to the tea bucket that you may have seen on the channel and the D cup I had a hand in testing along with you know tons of other people on the foot combustion forum but around that time I was talking to the owner of cannabis hardware and new vapor trying to get an old glass pathway that was outwardly lined with metal so we could get something going all in there so the whole pathway would be glass from your um, sapphire dish I think it's the one thing that lets down something like this is the amount of metal that we've got and that the carb caps metal although they do now do a glass one and similarly we started in the flower pot with metal bowls and then we gravitate we evolved <laughs> to glass bowls and then that changed a little bit to being able to use other people's glass bowls this is an elevate bowl and now he's only gone and bloody done it Ed's made this and I would imagine everyone else in the shop I should ask who actually came up with this idea I should find out if it was Ed but yeah it's metal metal housing oh. glass lining so you've effectively got a glass bowl 
and then I assume this bit comes out as well and there's the gauze up there so you've got an old glass pathway that you're less likely to smash because of the metal housing oh god that's lovely my previous bowl didn't have a handle on it if you send a prescription over to New Grove and it's the first time you've done that and you mentioned smack salad you'll get one of these jars free these are 20 quid if you buy them from the pharmacy silicon lined on the outside so it's less likely to go smashing everywhere if you drop it that's got comfortably that's i've barely touched any of this that's 20 grams that's in there now and i can squeeze in the top although i normally have them in the bottom but just to show you i can squeeze in the top comfortably a 72 percent big bag well it doesn't have to be a 72 percent big bag but any kind of percent big bag so save yourself 20 quid and all you have to do is send your prescription over to new grow pharmacy for the first time and you get one of these for nothing if you mention smack salad but obviously See, if you're going out, you need to take your original tub out with the label on it, with your name on it, that corresponds with your prescription. Otherwise, all of this is for nothing. The bowl's full up to the metal line. First go with the Moab and the Matrix bowl and the Mercury diffuser. Bon appétit! That's a nose tingler. <laughs> See? That does feel like a marked improvement over the B0. That really does. That was lovely. This is an outstanding device. What a thing. Incredible and simple device. That's what's always blown my mind about how the flower pot system has always worked. This is incredible. This thing's amazing. This is such a worthy upgrade. This is so much more elegant and streamlined compared to... I mean, this, 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 this was fucking awesome at the time. This has been awesome all the way through I've been using it. It just feels positively archaic now. How bizarre. This is a serious upgrade there's more proper heat dispersal because that's going over instead of in like it would normally mother of all ball vapes I'm not gonna disagree I mean there's always a, there's always a thing when you get a new vape that uh, there's a vape signature to get used to you know how it operates how it works and how it gives you different effects and you'll always end up i always end up going through temperatures to see what different temperatures do and i guess with that combined with a big bowl you end up getting quite medicated quite relaxed while testing abt always be testing but there's always the factor of ooh, new shiny thing but this really is a fucking joy to use and i'm wonderfully medicated I'm absolutely stunned. Oh, there's a magnet there. Uh -huh. Ah, and that one's threaded. Without doubt, the smoothest and most hard-hitting desktop I have ever used by a long folk. That's so much more desk friendly. Here endeth the testing. On a scale of 1 to 10, I have found this testing to be a yes. Good night. Good night. Stay medicated, folks. <laughs>